everybody today I'm going to talk about music wire spools and dispensers now um, when I order music wire I order five pound coils like this one from Mapes and what I wanted to do was make a proper spool for it to go on my dispenser and so the main critical element of a spool that works very well is the inside diameter has to match the inside diameter of the coil that saves a lot of headaches right there and about this inside part of the spool is this parts recessed and then the wire comes where it's identified as you start with this end uh, that's what the end you want to start with going through the the dispenser the outside of the coil and then right in here is the inside of the coil that part you want to have it attached to your inside of your coil spool sorry and so once you have that this right here on my end I just have it apart but it attaches to one side like this then I would drop this onto there Fasten the inside to this recessed part and then I'd put the lid on and then that's your spool and that ends up looking like this. So I have on my spools I have these holes on the outside. I don't know if they show up too well but uh, that fastens the wire when before you use it and after you use it so next I'll show you my dispenser okay so here I have the coil on the spool and this part of the spool has been screwed to this already and I have the start of the coil right here where I, I make a bend and then I make a couple turns around the screw and then I screw down the to tighten and so this can't come out of here and this is in this recessed area so when I put the lid on it won't even touch that screw and then the part that the company has started this end I go ahead and I feed it through these holes so that it's secured on the spool and then I remove the label then what I only have to do now is screw the lid on and then I will cut the remaining ties after I've got the lid on and then the coil is secured on the spool All right, so here is the dispenser and there is some very critical elements about this that makes it work so well and this is actually from using different types of dispensers homemade ones different designs and this one has been proven the best and I'll explain why so one critical element of this is you'll notice that this bar comes out like this the, the central axis that the uh, spool will spin on and it was really handy having this come out like that and another part is the brake it's got two brakes you need two brakes one brake for the spool and one brake for the wire and so here's the brake they're spring loaded like this and it keeps the spool centered and they're spring loaded obviously Okay, another part is the brake for the wire. The brake has uh, shoe leather on the bottom and top part, and you can control how tight you have it on the wire. And then it's got right there those two little pegs. It's got where it keeps the wire centralized. Now the wire will still go side to side in the spool but it will exit here pretty uh, right there in the center 
So now I will uh, put a spool in the dispenser and you can see how it works. The spool loaded on the back part of the dispenser and now all I have to do is just push it forward and it's ready to turn. And the wire which is fastened in these two holes uh, because I have only one hand I'm holding the camera I'll uh, stop the camera and take this off of here and feed it through the string break. Music wire is now in the dispenser and you can see here on the string break and uh, that I have it set to where it doesn't grab too much grabs a little bit. I could actually tighten this down to where it won't pull through at all. So that's completely adjustable. You can see the music wires going through the two guides, wooden guides. And the brakes are contacting the spool on both sides. And that felt is uh, great for, uh, I, at one time I was having just wood to wood contact and uh, the spool would still freely go. So now, let me explain that. By having the string break away from the spool, it used to have it where the break would go into the spool and attach that, and that created a problem. Uh, you see that on some of these designs. And what that just wanted to do was make the wire just keep coming away from the spool on the inside. So it was important to have the string break separate so that the when you pull this out, the string will stop and it won't go back towards the spool. And it was important to have a spool break because if this spins freely, you can pull the wire through. Let's see here, you can pull the wire through and if that spool doesn't stop, if it keeps going, then it'll separate the wire off of the the spool see like you can see when I turned it by itself it started separating so it's important to have both a string break and a spool break so this design ended up working great I also uh, have this design where it rotates notice I have a double base there I have a permanent base which uh, is attached just attached to a uh, wooden clamp that I can clamp to the back of a piano and it's felt lined so it doesn't hurt the finish and so that allows this to pivot wherever direction I'm at over here when I'm stringing so see how that'll see it'll move and it'll stay true to me and there you go a very wonderful vertical string dispenser anyways I hope you uh, enjoyed this video thank you for watching